Thank you very, very much for the invitation to open this convention with a few words from our heart to the heart of God. Let us pray. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. That's right, wonderful Creator God. Our spirits rejoice this morning because you now look favorably on all of us in this great hall as humble working women and men in all of our lowliness, our ordinariness. And yet you reassure, you, you reassure us again this morning of that nobility with which you have endowed us and which no one can ever snatch from us. In pausing to recognize your presence among us, we reaffirm the truth of what one of our fellows here recently professed. We are too blessed to be distressed. You have done marvels for us, and just how holy is your name. Sometimes, Lord, we must now confess that we do manage to get a bit weary. It seems some that these, that days we get up and go to work in the hotels and the dining rooms and the laundries and the casinos and sad to say, we do not find very much or any respect for ourselves or our co-workers. Sometimes we feel like a sort of commodity, just waiting to be brought, bought and sold, and not at all like the human beings whom you have created and saw as very good and cherish still. We find ourselves too often today at the mercy of what Pope Francis rightly calls an economy that kills in a culture of indifference, in a society of exclusion and inequality. And it hurts us deeply, Lord. And we have to admit, we do get bone tired. Oh yes, Lord, we do often get tired. And for too many of us, it is an old story. We get tired of people telling us just to wait for an eventual trickle-down prosperity. It never seems to come. We get tired of people making us jump through new and unusually and usually impassable hurdles all over again, just so we can vote and participate in our democracy. We daily get tired of a broken immigration system that fractures and divides our families and communities. And we get tired of hearing politicians give us the same old excuses of why they can't get anything done. We get tired of corporate policies that only care about a bottom line, that cut our hours and add more work, that take good full-time jobs and overnight call them part-time. We get tired because the Pope, Pope Francis is also oh right. The excluded are still waiting. Too many are tired and yet are still waiting. But Lord, while we may get tired, we never lose hope because we know you always show the strength of your arm. You scatter the proud in their conceit. You cast down the mighty from their thrones and you raise up the lowly. You fill the hungry with good things and you send the rich away empty. We may get tired, Lord, but you never tire of being the Lord of justice and compassion. You remember the promise of mercy 
you made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. And we praise you for that. And this morning we gathered this, we gathered this union together and we can say we stand here strong in hope because of that promise. Bless us now. Give us a full portion of your spirit. Wake this assembly up now. Fire us up for the work ahead of these days. Because when we leave here, we're going to change 50,000 more lives. And that will just be a start. Our cause is just, for it is your cause. Get our feet moving. Get our hands moving now. Set our hearts aflame now. We're not feeling quite so tired now, Lord. You are with us. We are feeling stronger. We're ready. We aren't fearing anything now. We can face the challenges ahead of us because we already know the Almighty has done great things for us. And holy is your name. Amen. Amen.